This year, um, I mean, it's looking really positive. Uh, we've got uh, the guns uh, are wanting more and more shoot days, more and more birds, which is great news for the shoots. Uh, consequently to that, the shoots are putting in larger and more orders than last year um, for the game farms, which again is great news. So at the moment, the bird numbers are looking at about 10% up from last year, which is about 10% down from, from 2019. The laying season this year has been uh, quite temperamental, obviously mainly related to the weather, um, but at the moment we're seeing um, sort of, I guess, a 5 to 7% reduction in um, hatch rates. A lot in, in the uh, partridge, um, but certainly in the pheasants um, we've seen a bit of a downturn. However, the chick quality at the moment is really good out there. Um, you get the odd problem here and there, but nothing that you wouldn't see in a normal year really. So I'm here at one of my routine visit sites. Uh, we rear 40, 40 to 45,000 pheasants on site in these sheds you can see behind me. Last year we had an issue with wet bedding uh, and the type of uh, drink system they were using was contributing to that. The wet bedding associated um, also contributed to increased bacterial loads and lots of enteritis in the birds and therefore uh, medication use. So we talked and talked about investment uh, as part of the veterinary house plan visit and we decided that nipple bars was the best way forward. Um, I feel that they provide clean, fresh water to the birds alongside water sanitizer, um, but also it helps reduce the, the wet bedding in there. So we introduced that this year. Uh, so far the wet bedding is drastically reduced um, and we're hoping to not have to use any antibiotics, um, certainly in the next couple of weeks, um, on the basis of that. When I do my weekly visits, um, I important to, to take a wide selection of sheds um, and walk into each one and have a look. And so when I'm going to the shed, I'm looking at what does it smell like? You know, is there humidity too high in here? Does the ventilation need to improve? Then I'm looking at the light, you know, especially in that first week, is there enough light for those birds to be able to start well and, and find that feed and, and water straight off? Then I'm looking at the litter. Is it damp to the touch? Um, if it is, have we got signs of early gut, uh, poor gut health? Um, then I'm looking at the water hygiene. Um, is and the water management of the drinkers, you know, is there wet bedding, horrendous wet bedding underneath? Um, have we got too high a water pressure or not? Um, looking at if it's an open water drinker, looking at the water itself and does it look dirty physically? If it looks physically dirty, it's going to be horrifically dirty. If it looks clean, there's still a chance it's dirty and that's why we take samples at that point um, and have a look later at the lab. I'm also going around looking at the temperatures, so I've got my temperature gun, looking at underneath the, uh, the heaters, looking at the droppings themselves, are they well formed um, or are they frothy, wet, anything like that, signs suggestive that there might be a problem um, that's going on in the birds. And then of course I'm looking at the birds themselves, you know, before I open the door I try to look through the window, are they well dispersed or are they huddling in one area, do they look like they want more heat or they look like they're overheated, are they panting, um, are they wanting to scramble over each other, are they unsettled. Then I'm looking at are they uneven, you know, have we got signs of a disease starting here with unevenness and, and some poor birds starting to pull back. Um, this area is a new layer of grass this year. Um, obviously this year there was a shortage of gas bottles which has meant that lots of our game farmers had to put in permanent gas lines. We've had permanent gas lines at this site for at least four or five years now. The sites and sheds are permanent every year. Um, and all we do is we make sure that we have a thorough cleaning program in place and we plough the land and reseed it with grass every single year and we don't have any more or less problems here than we do with another site that is moving on the same field but every three years. So here at this site we're using probiotics in the first week um, and then we're going on to feed uh, those probiotics with prebiotic um, and then we're going on to weed out those bad bacteria with uh, organic acids um, in the water continuously for, for the rest of their lives that they remain on site. Um, and that's all about reducing bacterial loads uh, in the bird's guts um, in order for the bird to maintain a, a better gut health overall, better weight, fight off disease much better, and overall antibiotic reduction. 